lady looks really excited and hard <coughs> up, wasn't she? Well, I guess it was a big thing, made her day. Today. Yeah, she, she, she's enjoying this. She waves her arms like a baseball ball. <laughs> Okay, I say. Don't want my play, I'm out of here. What are they saying to you there, Harry? Uh, I mean, I, I basically ask why they're stopping play, and she's saying, I don't know, they told me to. Right. Yeah, I've been in there before. Ne never been backed off there, but I've been in there. Refused. No, there were no choices whatsoever about any of this. Are, you're, you're wondering if they asked me if I wanted to be handcuffed or not? <laughs> no, no explanation. You're coming with us. You know what these guys do? They're gonna pat you down and everything. Yeah. You get everything back, okay? Uh, nine, nine, two, one. Well, no right to go take my stuff. Uh, twenty-one. Got one right there. Yeah, I got one right here already. Oh. Yeah, anything in the pocket? Uh, gotta stick with me on the what? Now? Okay, uh, sir. You got what? an ID on you, right? Your false name to the pit. Okay. I didn't give any name to the pit. Okay. I didn't give a name to the pit. Okay. I haven't given any name to anybody. Okay. And I wouldn't give a What's your name, brother? Harry. You got your ID on you, right? Yes, I have ID on you. Okay, cool, cool. No problem. Okay. 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 Do you have any warrants or anything like no. that, sir? No. 
How long have you been here in Las Vegas? Few well, days. You're not going to tell me that. Few days. Few days. I'm here for the Consumer Electronics Show. Oh, the CES. Okay. Any known uh, comp, uh, any known aliases? No. Hey, hey, got it, buddy. What? Five minutes, thirty-two dollars. Okay. That's what you got. Nine hundred away. All right. What's your social? I need all the proper information to make sure that you don't come back on this property ever again, okay? I will come back on, but I, I don't know why you deserve okay. my personal information. Shut up now, okay? Okay. okay. You know, you just shut up, up He's clean. He's clean. Let him loose. He's got money at the cage. You walk him there, make sure he's got it, and walk him out. I've done nothing wrong. No, you haven't. Either. I know, so why are you guys putting me through this? Take him off. Stand up. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm calling the police right now. I want the police here. Right. <laughs> Relax. You're calling the police. I want all your names and badge numbers and everything before I leave here. Oh, Absolutely. You're going to have to explain why I did this. Can you relax? You get to talk. Okay. Sure. I want all your names and badge numbers. I'm entitled to that information. How are you entitled to that type of information, sir, and you couldn't even give me the last four digits of your social? Wait a second. So you just talked about done nothing wrong. I've here. done nothing wrong. I've done nothing wrong. You can me. I've done nothing wrong. What right did you have to do that? Pick up the change. Call the staff picture, sir. Sure. Sir, could you put your back against that wall right there for me? No, I'm not letting you take my picture. You have no authority to take my picture. Take my picture. Stay right here with him. Stay right for a minute. He told me I could go. The other guy told me I could go. Stay right here for a minute, okay? Harry, do we need to see you walk out? I, oh yeah, I know that, but good point. But after this, he walks out. He walks down the sidewalk for about 140 yards. Yeah, they, they tracked me farther than you can imagine. I know. Who know, who would have known that that camera would yeah, go to a thousand they times? Me all the way down Las Vegas Boulevard. Well, maybe we can leave it running and just talk about it for while while it continues to play out. Bobby, you got some tape, right? Yeah, I have I have some tape. Just a, a couple of comments. One is that during during the search, uh, I don't know if you could see this, but they they really very aggressively did search you know private areas uh, in a, in a very inappropriate manner, in my view. That was one one issue that I wanted to bring up. The other was this whole issue at the end of. Uh, uh, their unwillingness to give name and badge numbers um, and actually covering their badges, uh, which you can see clearly on the video when I, you know, was trying to get them. Um, the, the other issue was that, and, and I'd really be interested in Bob's comments about this, whether, 
we should insist that the police be called, because I know of other litigation that Bob's been involved in where the police get called and they actually arrest the card counter and become basically agents of the, uh, of the institution at that point. So, Bob, I, I don't know if you'd be willing to address that. Uh, that's going to be primarily what I do want to address uh, as, as the mic passes back to me. I, I also wanted to apologize for the hair comment earlier. Your hair is wonderful. Those of us without any feel at liberty to say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. Would you like me to do it now or would you like me to speak first? Uh, your choice. I would probably want to give a few introductory you got comments. The floor, Bob. Ah. Before we move on, any questions at all about any aspects of that, I'd be more than happy to answer. In previous visits to the frontier? Yeah. Not that I recall. I, I haven't played, the frontier is not a place I frequent. No question in my mind about it. Uh, the rest of that trip um, and subsequently I've, I, I, I experience now that a lot of places when I go in I get backed off before I even play. Let me lay this out. The Nevada Supreme Court has on four occasions addressed card counting. It has not been in front of them as cheating. They use it as an example of what is not cheating. That being said, there is no possible construction of the law that card counting is cheating. Yet, as Didi pointed out, and he didn't quite get there with the rest of it, the time I went down to the police with him and we tried to make the report, it was not only the night before. I walked in, we walked up to the counter. I forget her name. I have it in writing at my office. The desk, not the desk officer, but like the officer on duty at the station, one step up from the desk officer, looked, looked me right in the eye and said, he's card counting, he was cheating. Please think it is cheating. My, uh, another case I have, um, the player was out on the street and had called for the police because he wanted to swear out a complaint for battery and false imprisonment and the cop walks up and the cop assumed he was card counting and he goes you know you card count in this state and you're cheating the guy stood firm the police officer actually had funny he did this because he didn't have the presence of mind for a whole lot but in that circumstance he had the presence of mind to call over to gaming and clear it up and gaming very quickly told him no it's not cheating Gaming is the Nevada Gaming Control Board. It is, comp it is comprised of three persons um, by appointment, and it is part of the executive branch of the Nevada government. It also employs what are called gaming enforcement agents. They are police officers for all intents and purposes, and they are there to, well, Okay, if you read the statutes, the first thing that the Gaming Control Board and the enforcement officers are there for are to protect the integrity of the industry. That would include protecting patrons and guarding patrons against overreaching by casinos. Um, historically, we have the enforcement part. They also settle disputes. They have a judicial arm with an, a judicial administrative arm, and they're the ones who determine like the slot, slot jackpots and things like that. Um, moving forward to some of the other things that uh, I found interesting with what we've heard to this point, uh, Dee Dee mentioned that, uh, well, something I'd like to add that might surprise all of you. Uh, they were cheating at Dee Dee's game. 
I mentioned what the Nevada Supreme Court says is not cheating. They've also defined what is cheating. And some of the things that are cheating include using a device, altering the characteristics of the game, and one that is not often mentioned but is definitely there, using a confederate that is not at the game. For example, a spotter from behind. Uh, a, spotter. a spotter would be somebody sitting at the back pit uh, catching the car or on the other side of the pit or at a different table catching the cards and signaling the people at your table. That would be illegal. That would be cheating. It is a confederate off the table. In, Mr. Da in David's uh, case, they used a spotter. They themselves had a counter up in surveillance watching the game, keeping a running count of that game. Exactly. They being the frontier. The surveillance department was counting with Didi, but they were doing it through a confederate. Curiously, that's supposed to be illegal. Somehow, casinos are grasping at some sort of immunity or something where they think that's okay. I don't know how that's going to play out in the long run. Uh, I'm expecting to use it a lot more aggressively than I've used it to this point. Dee Dee also mentioned the $1,000. Uh, it was a bit of a travesty. It's not the way these all go. Uh, although, and well, let me give you a little bit more of an introduction if I might. I'm an automotive attorney. I started into this, uh, I don't want to go so far as to say on a bet, but it might have been on a dare. And from there, uh, I proved to the people who said, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing, that there was something wrong. And it has snowballed, and it has become a cause for me. It's about half my practice. I don't make a living at it. Um, but I do have some goals. And if I achieve my goals, none of you will ever hire me. My, goal is, my goals are to stop this stuff, because this has no business happening. And I think it's as clear as can be. The problem is we have to lose almost every case before we can win. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the Kerry case. That's one out of the Ninth Circuit. That was an ID case with an advantage gambler. The federal district court here in Nevada dismissed that action saying that the police officers were immune. The Ninth Circuit reversed and sent it back and essentially said no, what that was was an illegal search and an illegal arrest. Fix it. That case finished. Uh, favor favorably for the patron. Um, I have presently three cases, three clients in front of the Nevada Supreme Court because the local district court has dismissed the action. In one of those cases, the judge held that the casino, not the casino, the police, in that case gaming control enforcement agents, had the discretion to fabricate evidence. Okay. Curious holding. I think it's unprecedented, but that's where we're at. And in another case, um, this one is just incredible. The police, having written up a report that said there's no probable cause here, 